Hey, what's going on guys? Hope all you are doing. Welcome to a new video tutorial from iPinwit. So today we're gonna have a really nice thing. We're gonna talk about PHP versus Node.js. So we're gonna talk about, about like what is uh, the best of PHP, what can it, what it actually can do in a modern web application, especially we are in 2018, alongside the Node.js, JavaScript based development environment. So we're just gonna take a look or close a look on both of these and try to get the best of it like what to use in modern days and what actually to use for your like I don't know best practices and stuff like that and for your specific situations so whether you are trying to be a freelancer um, make modern applications or I don't know try to get into like a modern web applications team and stuff like that so I'm gonna get just dive right into it and see the main major differences between both of these You're gonna have like in here presentations explains uh, everything we're gonna talk about in this particular video tutorial. So let's just start. So let's see PHP versus Node.js. So first we're gonna just cover the pros and or the main pros and the cost between PHP and Node.js in order to like to see which one is better than the other one in like specific situations and uh, which one is more efficient than the other one in that particular task and what can like one language do more than the other and like little notice or very quick notice like Node.js isn't a programming language uh, for like some of you might ask you're telling it to program I'm just saying like this because PHP is a programming language and a lot of people doesn't distinguish between a programming language and a development environment while Node.js is actually a development environment and PHP is a programming language while actually PHP is uh, like web specific uh, target programming language just specifically for uh, where the web applications why Node.js isn't only for web you can use for desktop for like embedded applications and stuff like that or close platform applications so we're just gonna see what is easier for you to develop uh, like on your particular case so we're just gonna go step by step uh, with PHP and Node.js so PHP is a server side scripting language created specifically for uh, the web and widely use it for almost any website so if you are like starting just with web development nowadays just getting started you would definitely know about PHP and you, you will find like a, a plenty of video tutorials out there explaining PHP how to get started with it and honestly like PHP is it's very simple to get started with it just a couple of codes and you can embed and this is like where the powers of PHP comes up like embedded like the PHP scripts into the HTML uh, file and you can create a really nice patterns with that particular feature with from PHP while there's like a downside from PHP but we're gonna cover them in this particular course so this is what is PHP now Node.js is a development environment as I've said it's not a programming language JavaScript that is a user to create or use it into the Node.js development environment is actually a programming language so you can use JavaScript very flexible and modern uh, use it in modern applications and created for improving the web apps and allowing choices rather than PHP quickly growing nowadays. So, if like, since we are in 2018, you will definitely find a lot of posts, a lot of video tutorials covering Node.js, why you should get from PHP or move from PHP into Node.js or whatever language you're using into Node.js and why Node.js is so so powerful in terms of making web applications. So, let's just move on and see the PHP pros and consequences. And try to uh, like just give you an overview what PHP looks like on nowadays whether you're trying to I don't know get started you you try to find your mind between PHP and Node.js you will like definitely get something out from this video tutorial so just tuned out so let's take a closer look on PHP pros and cons and see what is gonna be uh, like between both of these so PHP pros uh, it's very lightweight scripting language. You know that PHP isn't a programming language. It's called like a scripting language since it's very lightweight and very small and it's embedded into the HTML files or HTML structure. So that's why it's called a scripting language where you can just use a script in small minified files to that can do the job or do the processes and handle tasks very easily. Also, it's an HTML embedded and web specific, so you can't use PHP on other like web or like desktop processes and stuff like that. It's only for the web, and that's what makes PHP very specific or very targeted into the web applications and widely used by like modern applications as well as the freelancers and developers or web developers. They use specifically for PHP and why it's widely used nowadays or in like the last few years PHP have been the topest used language on the web 
and SQL databases. If you don't know what a SQL database, at least you have learned or have you have heard about the MySQL database. So SQL databases are widely used, especially nowadays and like in the last few years since PHP hasn't has been introduced. Also, PHP handles SQL database very perfectly. That's why it's very very so like perfect for that particular job or that particular type of databases. So using PHP will give you tons of features with SQL databases like MySQL. Uh, like moving on now from like PHP also has frameworks and content management systems that is CMS like WordPress, Drupal, Joomla. Uh, you will, you have probably heard about WordPress, so it's widely used. And it's very, very easy to get started with just grabbing some code, editing some stuff and publishing your site and you are ready to go. So that's why it's very, very widely used, it's purely for like you want to make a very lightweight website, very simple. You're not that geek about programming. You, you don't want to make that big application and stuff like that, just a blog. You're just going to use WordPress and PHP and this is going to make your life way much more easier. And the portal so solution so works on any web server out there, whether like you going to uh, a shared web hosting, a VPS, or a dedicated web server. What PHP works either like on all of those servers and stuff like that. It just works pretty much fine with no problems, nothing at all. And as I've said, since it's very lightweight, this gonna give it uh, like the plus one. Now, easy to deploy in one click deployment. So. If you have been wondering uh, why, like, there's a lot of websites using PHP, all that, that's because it's very, very simple to deploy. Just creating the website, very simple way, and two clicks, deploy to the shared hosting, and your website is live. You can access it from now on. So that's why it's very, very easy on this particular job. Now, for the cons, take a look at the cons. It's very outdated since we are in 2018, so using PHP looks a little bit awkward. Since there's like a lot of languages right now, like multi -pur like multi purpose languages like Python and Go and Ruby and stuff like that, and Node.js gonna make the job in 2018 very perfectly. And overwhelming HTML and better code. So if you can like use your structure alongside the PHP scripts, gonna make your code a little bit less readable than it should, and just gonna make it a little bit hard to read through that code and edit it and try to improve it over time. So that's why using the embedded code isn't that great job on both of these. So there's like the cons and the pros. So using the embedded code in the HTML of the uh, like the PHP embedded code in the HTML. My looks a little bit better if it is just a little bit like a couple of line codes. But if you have a lot of line codes, this will be very overwhelming for you as a web developer. And not ready for browser apps. So if you're trying to make like side or client web applications, PHP is so bad on this particular job. So just go for Node.js because this is not the perfect way to do it. So also another downside about PHP is it does the initialization of your application. So when you create in like an MVC or a model view controller using a PHP, whenever you submit requests into your server, PHP is just gonna reinitialize the, your application from the uh, from scratch. So we're just gonna every single request initialize the application, which takes more system resources, more server time, and more requests or request handling and response. Uh, for your clients, which makes it a little bit slow website or a little bit s slow web server. Now moving on to Node.js to take a closer look on what about Node.js and why it's very reliable and why a lot of people are getting a, or starting using Node.js nowadays. So for the pros, this all allows you to create full advanced applications, gives you a lot of set of modules. Uh, if you are familiar with npm and yarn or like package managers. That's why they love Node.js that much because it's just going to give them the flexibility or the way to grab code, other people code that's uh, have been created by people. And you don't, you don't need to recreate the, pro the code from scratch, just to reuse the code and you're ready to go. And there's a lot of modules that are going to make your life way much more easier, like asynchronous modules, which is the Ajax request, uh, can, can do lift, like very lifting or handling for your application, can do a lot of things for your application actually. So this is a very, very nice thing. And that's what I personally like about Node.js. It is the large set of modules. Whatever you're going to 
uh, task you want to implement out there, there is a modular for you into the NPM or into the run or yarn repository is ready made for you. JSON based uh, JSON based databases are the MongoDB, PostDB, a lot of other things, and like Node.js handles JSON very very specifically uh, the JSON in a very perfect way since it works with JavaScript and JavaScript is or everything about JSON so working with Node.js and JSON is the perfect thing so you can't use JSON with PHP it's a little bit awkward thing it won't look good as it does with Node.js so Node.js is the perfect way to use JSON so if you have like JSON APIs and stuff like that Node.js is just the perfect thing to use. Express servers advanced request handling so with PHP, if you try to send a request and your server receives that request, you, you're not gonna have that much of choices to do with that request. Just send a response with a little bit of liftings about that. But for the like Node.js and the power of the Express server, if you don't know what is the Express server, it's a built-in server with Node.js, comes up with Node.js. And it's very powerful to request or to gives you a lot of features to handle the request in a very custom ways and just like return a very custom responses of stuff like that which makes your application a very like a specific thing can allow you to create modern applications that's why a lot of people use it as i've said the package managers like the npm or the node package manager or the yarn the package manager by facebook it's just very very nice manage your packages gives you a lot of things you can do on like modern web projects Best for front end applications, so as we have talked about PHP and browser or client side applications, uh, it wasn't that good, but Node.js is the perfect ch choice for making uh, client side applications for like browser applications. If you want to make a game or under the browser of your uh, client or I don't know, run some kind of a heavy application or a heavy processing into the browser, Node.js is going to be the perfect thing for that particular thing. Asynchronous and event based. One of the most important things for me to use Node.js is the asynchronous calls al alongside the event based architecture. How is that? You can send Ajax or asynchronously, like whenever your application is running, it doesn't really matter to uh, refresh the page or something. You can send requests how much ever you like to the server and receive response without refreshing the page, without, t without like touching anything. Also, the event based. So it makes it looks like non-blocking way, which means it executes the code, but it doesn't stop waiting for some kind of a piece of code in order to finish so we can move on to the next piece or not next function or something like that. It doesn't do that. It's just going to read th through all the code and register some event handlers with that. So whenever it, something has been finished, it's just going to call that event handler and you're just going to execute your code after the process finish, which makes it a very super crazy about that. That's why one of the things I like Node.js that much is the event based system. Now for the cons, there's not worth CPU intensive, so if you're trying to use uh, Node.js for the very heavy CPU intensive applications, this is not the best one. Move on into another language, PHP perhaps, uh, Python, but Node.js isn't that good. Dependency management and modules, it might seem a little bit confusing since you're gonna have on like a large set of applications a lot of modules a lot of built-in modules a lot of custom modules stuff like that so it might seem a little bit overwhelming with bugs on like a couple of modules since it made by the community so there would be a lot of bugs out there so this is like a downside with node.js now what should i go for as we have seen the cons between node.js and the php uh, we have, you, you might probably now asking, well, we have, we, have, we have gone through a lot of things right now, but we still can't decide what to go for uh, to make our application. So let me just talk to you about that. Well, if this question is still in your head and still trying to figure out uh, how and why to choose one over the other, in my opinion, uh, like about that and how to choose the for wisely among them, which means try to use the best one for your best situation let's say you're gonna make like a browser application or client side application go for node.js if trying to make a very simple blog and your time is like the uh, like the thing you want to like conquer stuff 
with just go with like WordPress and stuff, go with PHP. PHP is going to be your best choice for this particular thing. So try to find the situation you, you are in and choose that wisely with the language or the development environment you want to work with. So first try to like use modern applications like uh, developers and want to make enjoyable apps like very enjoyable apps when trying to type code. I would advise you to go with Node.js since it gives you more choices to work with as well as since Node, Node uses JavaScript this is going to make your life easier front end and back end. One of the other things I like is JavaScript can be used in both things. So while JavaScript uh, it must be used or as a front web developer or if you want to be like a full stack web, web developer JavaScript must exist into the front end so you need to learn or master JavaScript so since you master it into the front end you also can work within the back end that is like like using the Node.js or the power of Node.js so that gonna make your life way much easier just learn one language and you are ready to go However, if you want to make a quickly developed lightweight website or web applications, blog or something like that, using one of the famous content management systems like WordPress or Joomla or Drupal for clients and small or sell small projects online or like working like if you like to work a freelancer, PHP will take the lead on this particular thing because freelancers and small applications need only small code base and just a couple of lines and you are ready to publish your website and give it or make it live out there to people access it especially for blogs and especially for freelancers a lot of people ask for uh, small projects using PHP so learning PHP gonna make your life much easier and is very very important also it has a lot of model view like MVC frameworks which the model view control frameworks such as Laravel or Code Igniter or Symfony they are all very very uh, composed frameworks and very heavy frameworks very advanced so you can create with it whatever you like out there so just gonna make your life easier and it, it won't feel when you're using something like Laravel framework or something like that it won't feel like you are creating something like a PHP you will, cre you will feel something you're creating something more modern and more flexible than just typing scripting language like a PHP so this is gonna make your the day for you and the most important thing, enjoy coding. So that was actually guys for today's tutorial, just a very simple thing telling what you should go for and what you shouldn't go for and uh, what is the enjoyable thing and why Node.js is better than PHP. So if you try to ask my opinion, my personal opinion, I would definitely tell, tell you to go for right now and learn Node.js. I've been wondering about Node.js and PHP like a couple of months ago and when I tried to learn Node.js the first time I felt that I've, 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 I've been doing something very bad by learning PHP. I'm still not telling you to, do, to not go for PHP. Learning PHP is still very good and fits in very nice situations but for me I would go for Node.js because it's just very good and it just fits for the modern web application. So thank you guys for watching. I really, really do hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you all in the next video tutorial.